some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. You know, last night I was trying to find something interesting to watch on YouTube and I ended up running across a live stream from a fellow content creator from the Anti-Auditor faction. And he was playing a, a video of a frauditor by the name of Eagle Nick, who seems to be so butthurt about all the anti-auditors uh, making fun of the uh, frauditors. Oh boy. And he even mentions a few of them by name. So let's go ahead and see what this uh, moron has to say and if anything he says is correct at all. Oh by the way Eagle Nick, uh, Frauditor Mania sent me. And I know that's gonna just piss you off, you butthurt little toad. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and watch this uh, frauditor squirm like a worm. Morning, Eagle Nick. Owdies, I am Eagle Nick. And this morning I want to talk about them scumbag frauditor auditors, they call themselves. Frauditor auditors, okay then, that sounds like it came out of the mind of a complete imbecile right there, you know, like yourself. But at any rate, uh, someone like myself, I prefer the term uh, anti-auditor, because you know, it sounds a bit more professional than frauditor auditor, I mean, come on now, dude, that that's just something a child would come up with. When they are nothing more but but a bunch of scumbag frauditors their self. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> now they create a YouTube channel and they get on there and they go steal other people's content. They download other people's videos, then they take and cut it up, they hack it, then they put their own stupidity into the original content creator's videos, all in the name of trying to chase that almighty dollar while they make fun of the person who originally made that our content. It's not stealing, dude. It's called fair use. If you put up any work anywhere in the world, whether it be a video, book, or whatever, somebody's going to come along and uh, critique that. You know, kind of like what Spaceballs did to Star Wars. Or even what Weird Al Yankovic does to a lot of... Uh, creators himself he uh, does parodies of music it's, it's the way the world works you put up a uh, content and somebody will come by and critique your dumb ass the eagle nick audits says they can all kick rocks like the bunch of little girls that they happen to be because eagle nick audits does not give a rat's hind leg what you say about me Apparently you do, because you've made uh, more than one video about it. I mean, uh, if you really didn't care about it at all, then you wouldn't uh, pay any attention to the quote-unquote trolls that uh, everybody else calls us. So here's a tip for you. Don't give the other side ammo against you. Don't make a video about the persons that uh, make fun of you, and they won't make a video in response to that. But you can do your so-called audits all you want. It's just that, well, people will still critique them as well. So in other words, don't do this uh, if your butt hurt and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're butt hurt and you know it, stomp your feet. And nobody will pay attention to you on that one if you don't stomp your feet. Now, Frauditor Mania, who was coming into my live streams, whom I had inadvertently made a managing moderator, turned out to be one of the biggest boot licking trolls 
there is on the internet because he sent me two dollars about four times and Eagle Nick showed his gratitude by thanking them for sending me that money you know boot licking crow fraud of their mania the biggest fraud on YouTube other than the fraud of their wrangler well, dude, uh, that really just shows your own intelligence right there. You turned uh, Fraud or Mania into a moderator, and yet you didn't get the clue whenever uh, you noticed that uh, his name happened to include Frauditor, which is a parody of Auditor. Did you ever notice that? And then there's the fact that you uh, were saying that we're only after the almighty dollar when you go make Fraud or Mania a mod because he donated to you so who's really after the almighty dollar at that point now they are both a bunch of scumbags that needs to learn to create their own content quit stealing other people's videos cutting them up and putting your own spin on what is said y'all say Oh, they are, you call us damn hillbillies and hicks. But Eagle Nick proudly states every single day that you're damn right. I am a hillbilly. And if you don't like it, you can kick rocks. You now, me personally, I don't discriminate against uh, hillbillies and rednecks and everything like that. I've got a few rednecks and hillbillies as friends and always have had them as friends because of the area I live in. They can be good fun at times, but what I have an issue with is morons like yourself who uh, go into buildings and harass people to the point where the cops have to be called. All in the name of uh, journalism, uh, when you're not even a real journalist because, uh, well, you know, real journalists don't make themselves part of the story. You know what I mean, Burn. That is a shameful and disrespectful way for you scumbag trolls to try to earn money by stealing people's content all because we inadvertently leave it open to audio and video remixing. Now we do not do that so that a bunch of scumbag piece of trash like y'all can come along and steal our videos all trying to make yourself a buck or two. Now frauditor mania bragged that they are just reached a 3,500 subscriber milestone. Somebody find out how long that fraud and their mania has been on YouTube. And this is another point of contention that I have with this particular uh, idea that your channel age has anything to do with your uh, view count or anything like that. When I decided that I was going to... Uh, start creating videos on YouTube for the anti-auditor uh, faction. Uh, I took an already existing channel, one of my own channels, and converted it into my primary video making channel. Now, I originally created the base channel uh, in 2013 under another name so I could watch the age-restricted content without having to go through all the hoops, you know. And whenever I decided to start making content, I changed the name to whatever I came up with at that point, which was this uh, channel name right here, and uh, went on from there. So the age of the channel is not a factor in a lot of cases, you ill-informed buffoon of a bird brain. Because Eagle Nick, oh, this, my channel is coming up right on eight months old. And I have been blessed thanks to all the wonderful people who have subscribed to my YouTube channel that I have reached over 6,200 subscribers in less than eight months. 
and y'all be sure to let that boot licking crow frauded Armenia know who said, oh, he's reached 3,500 subscribers. That Eagle Nick audits has got over 3,700 new subscribers in the past two months. Oh boy, another incompetent use of the uh, ad populum fallacy. Oh boy, just because you have more subscribers than a certain person doesn't mean that uh, your idea is the right one. I mean, it just means that more people listening at that point than uh, the other guy. Subscriber count is essentially meaningless when it comes to the truth of a matter. Two months... Now, I'm sorry I misspeak a little bit every now and then. I just got through eating breakfast and got a few of those grits stuck in my teeth and some of that bacon and that dark toast. Yeah, I know how grits can be. They can be a real pain in the ass getting stuck in your teeth, but I still enjoy them. But Eagle Nick Audis thinks it is completely disrespectful. It is completely unethical. How dirty scumbags steal people's content because they steal people's content just because we leave it open to audio and video remixing. Uh, dude, uh, you have no idea what's ethical and unethical at this point, uh, because, well, there are laws about fair use out there. As long as the content remains transformative, in other words, it becomes something other than what the, uh, original content creator put out there and is used for critiques, parody, educational purposes, and everything like that, it is not theft. It is well, fair use, and it's transformative. It becomes another work. So, dude, I would suggest that you take a look at the DMCA and other countries' versions of it. They do that all because they are trying to make that almighty dollar calling us hicks and hillbillies and all manner of bad names. The Eagle Nick audit says, let them say what they will. But it takes a dirty, low-life scumbag who is allowed to get access to someone's content and then they turn it around all for clicks and views, which everybody wants to say them frauded or auditors say, you're just doing it for clicks and views. When if you will look at their channels, frauded or mania and frauded or angler, wrangler, you will see they are the ones that is only for in it for the clicks and views. They are the ones that are only in it to make fun of someone, they do not care about the truth. They do not care about the law. All they care about is trying to make that almighty dollar. Oh, me personally, I very much care about the law, which is why whenever one of you uh, idiots uh, misquotes it or quote minds it or anything like that, or... Uh, says that a Supreme Court decision says this or that. I actually take the time to look up these things. And, uh, well, a very good portion of the time, about 99.99% .99 of the time, uh, I find that uh, you guys are being very disingenuous about what it actually says. Give them a dollar and you'll make them holler. I'm talking about them boot-licking scumbag people on YouTube who call themselves frauditor auditors who steal people's content 
from YouTube because we allow audio and video remixing. They called Eagle Nick Audits a hick, a hillbilly, and have said all manner of evil and vile, foul words against Eagle Nick because Eagle Nick Audits just tells the truth. I do not hold anything back. And all you auditor frauditors need to stop smoking crack. At this point, I think this is just outright projection because, you know, I've never smoked crack a day in my life. You, on the other hand, might just be projecting your own faults onto everybody else. So, dude, are you feeling a little bit guilty about what you're doing? I mean, it's okay. Uh, admitting it is the first step to recovery. And you can stop doing that now before your brain uh, gets totally fried, if it hasn't been totally fried already. The Eagle Nick said that when I see something that's wrong, that is an injustice, that I will stand up and I will defend what needs defending and if Eagle Nick has to defend himself and all of the other auditors, all of the other constitutionalists who creates content on YouTube, TikTok, or any other platform, Eagle Nick out is, will jump on that track no matter how big the train no matter how dirty the name calling, no matter how bad the pain, I tell it like it is and not like it was. And if you don't like it, hey, that's tough. Kitties, cuz, you know what I mean? I'm sick and tired of dirty, rotten people who wants to steal people's content calling them frauditors, saying they are only in it for the clicks and views, when that is the only reason they steal our videos and they use such lies, deceptions, and editing tricks. Again, that's more projection right there because I've seen a lot of editing tricks out of your side. And me personally, I don't use any editing tricks to make you guys look bad because you do that all by yourself. I just cut out the dead air and uh, put in uh, critiques where you guys are uh, obviously wrong. Thus transforming a uh, otherwise unwatchable video into something that's a bit more educational. The stuff they do with our content just makes us all sick. You have been warned, you dirty boot-licking crows. Oh, I'm so scared. Now, Frauded or Wrangler and Frauded or Mania has been blocked from Eagle Nick Audit's channel. And any more of those people that comes in and says, they were sent by via fraud or Romania. You can be sure that I will be booting you off as well. And fraud or Romania and fraud or Wrangler, if you don't like Eagle Nick, you can go straight to hell. You know what I mean, Vern. Now, I'm going to end this live stream. I know it's been short, but I just got through eating breakfast, and I'm on my way home. I'm on my way home. Yes, on my bicycle. All you boot-licking scumbags that says, well, at least he's just got a bicycle. He ain't got a vehicle to where he can go to other places. He has to stay local. Jackass, they got buses, they got trains, and they got something you may not ever heard of. It's called an airplane. Eagle Nick can go anywhere he wants to within the United States because Eagle Nick, oh, this thing, all of them are great. But there's a lot of people that's in those states, in those cities and counties 
that I went and pissed on if they were on fire because they are sorry, low-life scumbags who look down on the poor and those less fortunate who would not lift their hand to help someone who is homeless. Whether they had $10 million in their pockets, they would not give one red cent to help someone less fortunate, someone who is in need. Now, Eagle Nick has to head back to the eagle's nest because Eagle Nick is waiting on that other boot-licking troll that says they're going to be riding by my driveway, riding up and down my road. I say, come on, big shot dumbass, because once you step foot in my yard, you will be carried out feet first. You know what I mean? This is Eagle Nick Audits. And if you ain't got here yet, I'm sorry you missed. And to everybody watching, I'm sorry that I'm pissed. I've just had enough of them liars, scumbags who wants to steal people's content. They use editing software to change stuff around or to add stuff. When Eagle Nick, oh, this, all I do is record what I see and I live stream. I cut out a short, and that is all I do. I do it for me, and I do it for you. I'm standing up for the red, white, and blue, and only because I know that it's true. You know what I mean, Burn. Well, Eagle Nick, and it sounds like that you were incredibly butthurt in this whole video, so... Uh, well, uh, I'm going to present you with this uh, free tube of uh, Blackheart Knight's Butthurt Cream. Guaranteed to cure any pain in your ass or your money back. Actually, no, wait a minute. That's not a guarantee right there. I mean, it is made by garden gnomes after all. Now let's go out with a little melody for this guy. If your butt hurt and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're butthurt and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're butthurt and you know it, and your face will surely show it, but then go ahead and stomp your feet. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen read to anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, I'm just like some oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the third amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera, doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead. Uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities. I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. Oh, I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, That's a 25. 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hello, ma'am. 
Hi. How are you? Okay. I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Yeah, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know, you've been arrested for this before. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.